especially especially in this current landscape of social media marketing uh, it's knowing the appropriate time where you're uh, what the f oh it's my doctor what's going on everyone you're watching Emroy TV and today is biz Tuesday so if it's your first time watching my channel on this particular day every Tuesday I share with you guys social media marketing tips to help build your business and your brand and today we're gonna to be answering the question what's the best time to post on Instagram well I'm going to give you guys some like a, uh, a beginner strategy to work with but the truth is I can't give you guys a blanket statement that works for everyone because that's it, it just doesn't work like that everyone's profile is different everyone's audience is different also we got to take into account of Instagram's algorithm that also plays a role into the exposure of your content to your audience so you, you can use this as a template but as time goes on you can start getting a feel for when people are actually interacting with the content this is assuming that your content's already on point, not production value, that though, though that does help. If your content sucks, it doesn't matter what your timing is. So the first tip that I wanna share with you guys is make sure that your Instagram profile is set to become a business account. Uh, that way you can actually track the analytics. So I made a video of that not too long ago, so make sure you'll watch that uh, after this video. All right, so the next thing is you wanna post at least two to three times a day. So this gives you an opportunity to experiment on the type of content you want, and also it allows you to get a feel of when people are most active. So you wanna post in the morning before work. <clears throat> huh for lunch. I think this has a hole in it. Okay. After work, time for me to get the little man. So, Or, bonus tip, if you want to schedule a fourth post, um, you can schedule it after dinner, which is like 9 p.m. and on, you know, the people who are just lying in bed scrolling through their feed. So after a week or two of this, you want to go to your Instagram analytics, go to your followers area right here. I'm going to show you on the screen. And then you want to go all the way, scroll all the way down to this section. So it's, I can't tell if it's in focus right there. It's going to show you for each day what time is best to post. Not only that, it's also going to show you the best days to post as well. There are other analytics tools out there that you can use, such as uh, Icona Square, Only Poll, Hootsuite, you know those. But I think uh, the Instagram analytics tools are a pretty good place to start, especially if you don't want to be paying a price to get your analytics. So fourth bonus tip is consider the time zones of when you're posting. So say you want, say you have an audience in the East Coast and you live in the West Coast. So if you really want to try to maximize your reach, you might want to consider posting around 9 a.m. because at the same time, or maybe 10 a.m. So that means it's going to be around lunchtime over there. So that means the audience that you're sharing in the West Coast is going to be seeing it. And at the same time, the people on the East Coast are going to be seeing it. Kind of a win-win situation, taking advantage of that timing. So uh, consider that when you discover your ideal time to post and then uh, uh, consider your the location of your audiences and so see in the instagram analytics that's it hope you guys enjoyed today's episode question do you guys have a specific time or schedule for your instagram posts let me know with the comments down below that's where all the conversations happen in conversation discussion Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and if you liked it, make sure you hit like, subscribe, share this with friends who you think might like it, and that's it. Thanks for watching Emory TV, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.